because the Japanese, like you know, they always want to be the same. <laughs> yeah, I am the under pressure of being the same. So I cannot be stand up and say, hey, I have a question, or hey, I have an opinion. I have to be quiet, and then have to listen, and then have to watch people, and then I have to be really the same with everyone. I hate Japan. <laughs> Imagine that it's possible to have different opinions <laughs> and to be very free. But in fact, it's not really true. Because, for example, to be very good, you have to have a diploma. You have to be the same. You have to be the same to exist in a society. You have to be from the same school to evaluate, for example. So in Japan, they are very creative. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> I thought in you know, France, like you know, if I'm in France, I can be whatever I do, you know, I want, and I can do whatever I do, like you know, free country. <laughs> yes, it's true in one sense, and in another one, we have to be the same also. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, so, we have a chance together. Yeah, that's right. We have, yes. we have a chance to change the world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. So, how can we do? <laughs> oh, first, why people all the time Compare uh, to each compare. other. Yeah. People like to compare. Yes. And people like to criticize. Criticize. Be in judgment. Yeah. And how can we change it? And you know why? It's easier. Yeah. It's easier to compare to be in judgment. That's right. Yeah. So maybe we can use the improvisation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me talk to you guys uh, my story that really like you know I've been suffered from being the same when I was a little kid up to high school and and then like you know I hated I hated to live in Japan I hated to be Japanese <laughs> really but uh, once I got out of the country and then I went to school in United States for four years in Oregon. And everybody was going like, oh, you sound, you, it, it sounds great, you look great. And then, like, you know, I, that time, I, my self-consciousness was so low because I was so different. I was so weird. I was so strange when I was living in Japan. Really. But then, when I learned to be different, it's not a mistake. To be different, it's just, <laughs> so, so after I studied in the United States, I went back to Japan. And then I thought, okay, so I need to change the education system in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not a question. Like, you know, just listen. And like, whatever the teacher wants to listen or hear, then they will listen. But what are otherwise, like, they're not going to listen. So, what I did was that I, uh, well, first of all, I start, started working for IBM. Mm -hmm. And I started working with the corporate training. And then I got to be known a little bit and then as a presentation teacher. And then I got an opportunity to work for a university. And after that, my class or my uh, like uh, my program was kind of becoming really popular. So I was invited to be a faculty developer at eight to ten universities. So I was traveling. It was like six years ago. And and then I started saying like I am going. 
to change the education system. Once I joined Applied Improvisation Network in Trondheim 2007. And then since I started saying that, I started like, you know, um, be really active and then I talk to people and I learn from everyone. And now I am one of the change and I am going to be a principal for a high school. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Change the world. <laughs> I am a woman, and uh, it was a problem. And when I was pregnant, uh, it was a problem. So I was a uh, fire. <coughs> and because of that, I came back to my study and make my uh, master in management. And uh, I decided at this moment to apply improvisation and to be myself. Uh, it was 70 years ago. And uh, after uh, everything was totally different because everything was possible because we decided, because I, I have decided to be different, to be me, to be myself. <laughs> And a few years after, I became a professional speaker uh, in sales, in uh, negotiation, in management. So I was speaking about that expert subject. And I have remembered, oh, I remember where I, I come from, came from. So I decided to create a talk to help the women to be leader and to apply improvisation and to be assertive. And it was a really, really big turn for me. And also I, I decided to be like my dream because my dream was to be a singer. And uh, so for the same reason, because the sexism and harassment uh, I didn't uh, take my dream uh, when I was uh, very young. And so, 20 years, more than 20 years after, I decided to do it. And my first song is about women and freedom of women. So the difference is here. So the difference is the beauty. Yeah, so our message, our key message is be different. Yeah. Yeah. 